Today I'm going to teach you how to do some shape detection thingy in Java CV or just Open CV in general. But we're going to be using the um, Java wrapper for Open CV. And like, what's really interesting about Open CV was that it was written in like, like 1900s or something. No way. No, 2000s. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, it's really old. So it was first written in C, and the Java wrapper gave me a huge headache. So this is why I'm like making this like tutorial video or whatever for people who don't know. But anyways, number one rule in programming is Google is your friend. So we go to GitHub and we get the download here. And then once you get that download, you should get a bunch of jars once you open that up that zip. And then, um, not only is Google your friend, but so is Eclipse. Or maybe you can use like Intel J or whatever. Anyways, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up Eclipse, and you're gonna wanna create a, a Java project. And we're gonna assume that whoever's like brave enough to do shape detection is already a pro in Java to some extent. Okay, so just give it a name, and then click Next. And then for libraries, all you need for um, this, uh, what we're doing right now is just the three jars, OpenCV um, and Java CPP and then Java CV. So just these three jars and um, you're just going to use these and you just can click finish and just create a um, new class. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of cheating here. I'm just gonna look at my old code and I'm just gonna be like, what What did Chromestone do here? So, um, okay, so I had like some technical difficulties. Um, I probably maybe make a separate videos about like my reaction to these difficulties. But anyway, so like I've already gotten the code here. Um, I'll probably put this on like GitHub or something. But the thing was, is I forgot to actually put the, the photo. Like I, I forgot to actually get the photo. So I, I guess I'll get the photo afterwards and then I'll just do a separate like video and concatenate to the end of this with um, the thing actually running. But this works. So I'm just gonna um, explain like what this thing does while like I comment out the code. So this basically just um writes the output of the method wait hold on a second oh yeah detect triangle and draw points and then this basically just does what it it, it does basically so this is um the uh image that is returned because what happens when you do this is that the source gets modified and it basically becomes like an empty image or something. So um, you always pass in like pointers and stuff or something for uh, OpenCV and like C and C++. But like in Java, you actually have to create the real object. So that's why like we're creating kind of like um, Um, empty image uh, to hold the gray grayscale image and then um, I'm not really sure what threshing exactly does but it, it makes the image look cool and the uh, algorithm can find the shapes much easier so this just does the same thing bad grammar here Thresh. Is that even like an like a word? I don't think thresh is okay, let's just say threshold did image. Okay, that that's better. Um and then this will find the contours and like this actually Java C I had I ran into a lot of trouble with it because um rather than creating like all these other like things and like methods, 
I, I don't know. I couldn't find the better version of like Java C, so I'm I probably downloaded like, a really weird version. But like there are just these like really weird like ways it gets the C's like um, object. Like rather than creating like all the varieties of objects, it just stores basically a lot of things in mats. It might even cr it create like a mat vector here. But yeah, anyways, so it just stores the contours, which is just the outline of the shape. Okay, and then this just loops through all the possible candidates. And then here's like the pointer thingy again. So this will just be the the points that like make up the polygon. And um, basically if it's like a triangle, then there will be like three points obviously. So And then this just makes sure that the polygon is like big enough so you don't just detect a random small thing. Even though like um, when I did the webcam test, it still actually had some problems with it. But overall, I think if you just um, try to focus in the camera on like a, more of like a white background and just only have like one, sh a couple shapes or just the shapes that you, you want to find, then it should be okay. Or you could just load in like a, just a image that you create from like um, Photoshop or something. So this is just and then again this makes it make sure it's a triangle and then um, we have to do some IPL image approximation here because uh, as far as I know, like the only way I can get like specific points, this is where like it becomes really weird. So like I believe there's something like a map of point or something in the C version. Um, I actually found a Java API, but it didn't go with the Java C API, so I'm not really sure how it works. And there's probably an easier way to do this than the way I'm doing it. But since I'm using Java C rather than like a direct wrapper or whatever of the open CV, I, I don't know really how to do it, but I was too lazy to, to try to figure out how to compile my own build of open CV. And I, I really hate like having to like, just like do like installs on my computer and stuff. I prefer just like download it, boom, library done. And yeah, it, it gave me a huge headache, but I, I figured it out. So you need to just make an IPL image so that it's like um, image compatible. Um, for point getting. So basically what happens is rather than storing like in like a vector of points or like an array of points, like it uses the same image object to store points. That, that makes no sense, but like, like how that's even possible first of all, but it's possible. So what you basically do is you make an IPL image out of your approximate points and you have a, um, an array that you can get from it. And from that array, you can get a scalar. And from that scalar, the first and last one, um, the, yeah, the, the first and the second um, indexes, or whatever, um, indices, I don't know, of the of that scalar, which is actually weird, because isn't it like a scalar supposed to be like a number or something? But the scalar is actually like, like a group or a set of numbers. So then, um, this is the point and it will draw in red and yeah that's great and um let's just see this in action and i'll transition to when i get that picture so just about a 60 uh, quick side note 60 seconds quick quick side note all right so um the approx that rows will usually be the uh your um points of the polygon and then the columns will usually just stay at constant one at least that's from what i've seen and then um, when you access the point scaler, uh, that part I kind of tripped up a little bit about, and that's actually, it actually represents the array as a scaler, which I would just say makes no sense. And then when you access that, you actually access as R0, but when, it's, when you actually look at the picture, it would be 0R, so if you're actually going to access like a specific point, maybe change the color in your original picture, 
then you would actually have to make sure you switch the points. Unlike in circle, where I basically put at point scalar, I get zero, and point scalar, I get one. It should be point scalar, I get one, and point scalar, I get zero. The, this code is right, but if you're going to access the um, from like a real perspective, because since we're technically dealing with points, there's um, some weird stuff going on. But anyways, um, that's that's basically it. Guys, okay, so I, I'm like back, and all right, uh, I got the picture. Um, this actually came from my webcam, and we're just going to basically run this. And this should generate a T1 JPG. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to just F5, and that will refresh your um, basically in package thing. And as you can see, there's a circle here, a circle here, and a circle here. You can also, um, if you want to, just draw the outline of the triangle itself. You can also do, I believe, it's OpenCV image proc dot draw contours and here you're actually going to use the approx and for the map vector the contours and then the index just and like this is one of like my, my complaints about this is that, that like I appreciate like the work that they did to wrap this but like like seriously like I'm looping through the contours that could be as big as, as like a long but I can only draw a contour up to an index of an int. That, that, that makes no sense. Like, probably you're not gonna have that many contours ever, but like, still, like, it's just, oh my god. Um, so we're just assuming that there's not gonna be like a thousand contours we're finding. Okay, and then this is just gonna be, let's just pick another color, let's blue maybe. And if we run this, we should now get Oh my god, I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? I'm so scared. Uh, did I run the wrong thing or did I just, just completely butcher this? Oh no, this is the part where debugging starts happening again. Oh my, oh my god, this is just so bad. Um, let's see, maybe if I put it in the beginning before I do anything with it. Try that. Uh oh, I think I did something wrong. Oh, oh, that's that's what I was supposed to do. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay, this this is what I keep getting confused about. Is I actually need to pass in the uh, the one I'm drawing onto. So this is supposed to be the the output. Okay, yeah, there we go. See, this is great. So it finds the triangle, and then it also knows the points. So um, that's the tutorial. Um, I'm probably gonna do another tutorial about the webcam, and maybe that one I'll just kind of not really do a serious tutorial, not as serious as this one at least. And I will probably tag on the bloopers from this one. So um, next time, and I'm not dead. This I know that I've like uploaded, have uploaded in so long, but I'm not dead. It's it's good.